Now it's described as a witch's brew, enough to turn the stomachs of the most hardened economists. Financial turmoil, learning, looming downgrades and stagnant growth at the threat of quantitative easing and it's a recipe for disaster. But instead of losing sleep, our keeper of the purse is stirring the pot. So help me God. So help me God. It's a job nobody can be fighting for. Growing an economy decimated by wasteful expenditure and too many snouts in the trough. So when the going gets tough, our finance minister goes cooking. It's not going to rival Master Chef, but he does have a few tried and tested favorites. Chickens are free range, from the garden into the pot. To be turned into Tito's now famous chicken stew, shared with 400,000 followers, some of whom don't hide their disdain and amazement at a table sometimes only set for one. His culinary efforts gave rise to the Tito Mboweni challenge. Twitter followers stepped up to the plate. Unfazed by naysayers, the finance minister keeps churning out hearty broths and stews. The menu as unpredictable as the markets. So it's a bonus if you can source a local delicacy. But his weakness for tinned pilchards had some unintended consequences. A windfall for the manufacturer and elevated status for the chef, who can now choose between being the minister of pilchards or Mr. Lucky Star. He calls cooking a stress reliever, but is he fiddling in the kitchen while the country is burning? Well respected, his reappointment to cabinet was welcomed, but it gets hot in the kitchen. Give that man an apron. Marikita Matabe, SABC News, Johannesburg.